you work for NASA, you work for NASA, an organization that's devoted for space. Mm -hmm. Some people debate ha ha if we ever actually got to the moon, the conspiracy theorists out there. Mm. But even if we did get to the moon, what what really happened? Like, why was the purpose of going to the moon? <laughs> you really think about it, right? They're like, trying, they we trying went, to leave we, us. We went to the moon 60 years ago. I get it. It was a race against the Russians, and we put the American flag on the moon. Very typical of America. Um, but when you really think about it, what's the point? But I'm like, those same people love their satellite TV and their GPS, right? So that's the point. I mean, space for the benefit of Earth is really the theme and it's the theme of you know blue origin and what happens is there's all this amazing research that's done in space your memory from mattress mattress space mm -hmm. there's all this stuff that comes out of that but people don't know that it came from space and so they don't associate well, with space why, that's why so i'm giving you the platform yeah. to educate people including myself on the benefits of spending trillions of dollars over the last 50 years of going to space like yeah. this is your open platform to educate the world on the benefits of American tax dollars being spent yep. to go to space. So one of the things that I really enjoyed about working on space missions was it helped me understand how much research is done in order to help humans fight diseases and infections that wouldn't be possible without space. And so one thing that happens is if something is launched into space, it tends to mutate and it's called virulent. And so you see researchers working with pharmaceutical companies to introduce new antibiotics and new treatments that if you can kill it in space, you can kill it on Earth. And so that directly relates to our ability to just go outside, right? To be able to interact. And I'm not talking about vaccines. I'm talking about basic things that allow us to be able to better protect people. In addition to that technology, right, when we look at the artificial heart valve, there are so many things that are small that benefit people day to day. And then beyond that, you know, climate and the world, like the world is becoming an ever smaller place. And a lot of what we know about climate change came from studies from space. And the impact on that, that is far reaching. And so when, you know, when people ask me about space, I'm just like, it's, it's not so much about the moon and all of the dollars that are spent. The dollars that are spent are actually spent in the hopes of spending less dollars, right? If you build something the first time, it's typically more expensive, but if you repeat it, it becomes cheaper. That's why you get these large price tags. But the ability to be able to say, people in 50 years aren't gonna die from cancer, that's really what we're after when we look at space. It's a lot. There's a lot going on up there, um, especially when when you think about technology. You talked about satellites. We, we you know we've been following the Starlink and all that, but the, also the, the debris that's up there is an issue. That's uh, a job. That's a startup. This so this you just is, gave somebody a billion dollar idea right there. Well, they, they, they have startups already that's doing that. Well, you want to elaborate on that because that that's something <laughs> that's that a, that's an issue. That's a, a real issue. No, that's definitely an issue. But this is why I. I love it because it sounds super sci-fi, right? Like, why don't you create a space trash company? Go right ahead. But there's a lot of debris in space. And I mean, once again, space is a large place, but there's no shortage of jobs, startups, read opportunity for people to pursue in space. Do you, uh, what I was you just gonna ask, is, is, there, is, is there like a race to Mars? Is that, is that where we're headed with this? Like, I, I'm, I'm looking at- We got to Mars. Well, like humans. We haven't been to Mars. Rovers. Well, humans, I'm talking about. Is there a rate, right? Because I'm we looking. Got, humans have, have humans been to Mars? They have not. That you can say publicly. Stop. <laughs> like, here we go. Like, 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 <laughs> so from a standpoint of like, we're watching the wealthiest people in the world mm -hmm. explore space exploration, whether it's Elon or Jeff Bezos, like you said, with, with what? Is, is that the race? Is that where this is headed? I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily say that that was where it, it was headed. I mean, I think like when I look over, I don't know, the last 30 years, what's amazing is this idea that you now have a private industry that can contribute to something that used to only be the domain of governments. And I feel like that's the takeaway. Mm -hmm. 
And when we throw out Bezos and Branson and Elon, why can't we have the black version or the Hispanic version, right? Like, why not somebody else who is not like them? Because a lot of their money came from entrepreneurship and startups, and they decided to go and pursue space because that was a passion. So for me, it's sort of like, we have this model, there are these guys, and I want it to be like Bezos, Branson, Bo. It fits. It's right in line. What do you say to the flat earthers? You like satellite TV, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's my whole that's my whole response. I'm like, don't come for me on Twitter. Don't come for me in the DMs. Like there are a lot of things that people rely on every day that requires there to be a rotation of that thing. If you think that your satellite just goes left to right and left to right again, I can't help you. That's a good answer. So are people in Australia <laughs> that's st- that's that's that, that, when you said it, I'm like Are people in oh, Australia standing answer. standing upside down? We're always standing right side up. We're always gravity standing. rotation. The, the axis of the earth. Yes. So the southern hemisphere, if we're standing right side up, and we're on the northern <laughs> hemisphere, the southern hemisphere. <laughs> but they're right side up for where they are. The gravity allows us. That's to a legitimate th- question. Yeah. Look, I I, <laughs> I, I I read a lot of these conspiracy theory <laughs> situations, so. So you know what's funny about conspiracy is like sometimes conspiracy is a name for like a whistleblower, right? And like you're really getting the drop. But then sometimes mm, it's just weird news. What about aliens? That's an interesting question. <laughs> Are you allowed to answer that? Well, <laughs> what I'll, I'll just look at it from a probabilistic standpoint, right? Because who's to say that we're not the aliens? Well, we are aliens. If if there's other life forms, well, right. we'll be the aliens to them. So this is why I need people to get in, involved in the STEM fields. Like you too could be responding to questions like this at work on the clock, <laughs> on your job. So do you think that they're aliens? You would think that they I, are. So I think that when I first logged into ChatGPT, my very first query was, return to me all of the most reputable sightings of UFOs in history. Really? Do it. It's a great search. There's a lot of really good stuff. And the reason for that is I'm committed that I don't know what I don't know. And from a math perspective, if you've ever seen the sun um, the sunset in Africa, which I know you guys have, and you see how many stars out there, mm-hmm. it's hard to believe that there isn't something else. Now, what is that else? Is that else a dog on another planet? Is it a plant? I don't know. I is don't it know. An organism. Who knows? Just right? Around. I mean, but I think that we should inspire people to figure it out. Like, I belong in the camp of let's figure it out. So there's a high probability that there's other life forms outside of Earth. There's a Drake equation, and the Drake equation says that that probability is one. Therefore, it is most likely possible. The Drake equation? The Drake equation. Like the rapper Drake? He can take credit for that. But it's it's uh, not not that Drake. Oh, it's like an actual... (laughs) No, no, no. No, it's literally... Acronym for something? Yeah. No, it's just his name. A scientist. A scientist. Yes. Drake. Yes. 